Hello guys, this is Bull Cable back with another Boom Beach video and today we're going to have just basically start off by having a little look at the brand new tribes that have just dropped and basically a lot of people are not really happy with it um, because you know there is a lot of, we've had a lot of good ones so far and obviously when we get one that's kind of bad you know we get, we're going to complain but it doesn't really matter there is a power stone chance which can benefit a lot of people and the resource reward you know it's going to benefit a lot of people as well. It's going to help people, you know, um, progress a little bit faster. Also helping people get the crystals in the first place. Because, you know, the only way to get crystals is to actually use the mine to convert them. So we're going to actually convert our hours right now. Because since I am a max level player now, I'm just going to have to... That's the only really way we can get... Well, it's the only really use for our resources. So, you know, boosting resource reward and stuff like that is going to be benefit and i definitely think it's it's going to be pretty good but basically i would not even touch the sergeant break damage he do, sergeant break does like no damage anyway so it's completely useless and um, sergeant Brink health useless basically completely useless um just don't waste it shark launcher health can be arguable a machine gun damage machine gun damage only at high levels is going to make a difference if you're not defending um if you're not defending anyway do not just you're not going to be basically don't upgrade the machine gun damage expecting to defend more because it's probably not going to do anything and it's probably the same with the shock launcher health but you know shock launcher mm, okay and um, but yeah definitely these two here are the ones to be looking out for i'm actually going to be upgrading this i'm actually going to be boosting my power stone chance and um, today for you guys and boosting my resource reward as well even though i've already got a decent resource reward um, you guys know that um, you guys know that we're going to need them for the shards anyway. So let's have a look. We've got ourselves the nice little warrior strategy for you guys. As you guys know, um, warrior mania was just on and it's ran out already. But um, we're actually going to be looking forward to basically just destroying some bases with warriors. Um, a lot of you guys would have had some practice over the weekend with them. Um, and I certainly did and we're going to be taking down some bases first things first look at wait one second where is it look at this a 46 on my base should we take it out or should we just be nice and leave it in fact no we're just gonna we're gonna destroy the NPC base we'll do one NPC base attack first to show you guys how lovely these warriors are so basically Oh, as you guys know, this is probably one of the easiest NPC bases for tank medics, but for warriors, I'm not very sure. We'll have a look. And um, we'll barrage there. It's going to be a really nice barrage. Hmm, that's okay. Um, in fact, we're going to need to shock there and there. Okay, with, right, okay, right. So I'm just going to take this one out as well. And then we're going to single smoke and get all of our warriors in watch this get the get the flare ready flare at the base smoke again and oh, perfection yeah we managed to do that really well considering that we know that we're not going to be able to get a really good um you know we're not going to be able to get a good one set get the shocks away yeah we you know that was good because we weren't going to get a good what, oh my goodness, a good defensive structure to flare onto at the start. That's what I wanted to say. For some reason, I cannot get words out in this video. For, honestly, something is not right. But um, yeah, usually we get you know a defensive structure to flare onto, but there was nothing there, so we had to flare straight onto the base, and we got really, really lucky with the fact that we got... You know, the smokes were wide enough just for them warriors. So that's fine. We got nine warriors lost. We're going to take some real player bases down for you guys now. Um, also with the tribes as well, there has been some things going around the community saying that there has been some glitches and stuff. Um, I don't know about the glitches myself, I haven't seen them. Some people were saying that the resource reward one was not working properly. I'll soon find out if the resource reward is not working properly. But um, in fact, we'll test out right now. Is this... Um, we're nearly getting double. I think it probably is working right now. I should have actually tested that one out. Why are we barraging as well? I don't know what we're doing. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're just we're, we're going to be taking these defenses out then. I don't know why I did that, but okay. Getting ready. We're going to get a smoke in there, and then we're just going to go flare straight onto that that sniper tower and get another one there. 
and then we're going to probably we're gonna have to go up to this honestly guys go here 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 and wait for it flare over and smoke it just basically we did that so we didn't have to waste another smoke on the cannon pretty good strategy and where is our sergeant brick dead by any chance yeah sergeant brick's going to die and we're going to go shock shock and that's pretty much it it's going to take the base down bang 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 game over um, the grappler there is not going to really do anything. Uh, to be honest, it's only a 57. I don't know why he's got ice statues. It's kind of useless at this point. Um, but, okay. I definitely wouldn't recommend using ice statues until you're at least over a 1,000 victory points. Um, it's not really going to make any difference to your defenses, especially if you're pushing a lot. Um, if There's always going to be people that are attacking you that are going to be higher and going to be able to take out the defenses. That's why I actually think defense is kind of OP in this game now I am not going to be obviously there's going to be some extremely high level players commenting saying no defense is not OP attacks not OP it's balanced no um at certain levels it changes guys it changes the balancing obviously it's quite obviously not balanced where I am and um, obviously because I don't play the game enough to get a high enough victory points that is a massive factor now is that right should I always be getting matched with people the same level as me no that that kind of idea doesn't work because people can get their level from defenses, you know, upgrading their defenses and not upgrading their attack. The Boom Beach team have gave you the ability to, call, you know, to look at defense or attack. You can you can play the game the way you want to. So um, by sure by obviously letting people around your, you know, if you're getting uh, matched with people the same level as you XP wise, that isn't fair. Um, same getting matched with them i mean the, the best way is victory points that is the only way and it's just as simple as that and um, victory points and level there should be two factors and i'm pretty sure that's how they did it they changed the victory point it used to be solely victory point based um the way you were getting ranked with other people now they've got i think it was victory points and um level so it's two things that they take into factor now so obviously it's going to make it a little bit more fair obviously it's never going to be 100 percent fair and um, there's always going to be people lower than you. There's always going to be people higher than you. Um, it's just the it's just the way it is. I mean, obviously this guy here, this forty six guy, if we scout his base out, um, he has obviously done an amazing job to push this high up for a forty six, which is very impressive in my. And you can see he's just a purely offensive player, and that's the way he wants to play the game. And we're actually probably going to save this base for a video. Actually, that's a little I want to take down that. But um, yeah, basically. We're going to scout this out and we'll just take this base down and that's pretty much going to be it. But if we've got ourselves two prototype defenses, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, if we have a look, any mines in the way, probably going to critter round about the, de the crit just critter the objective to clear the mines away first. We're going to get a single smoke strategy here with the warriors. Why did we not, we've actually, we're coming, we're going into this attack with less troops than we probably actually need here mm, okay this is going to be interesting going to be very interesting medics please we're going to flare into here we want sergeant brick to come in here and then flare back pop sergeant brick's ability and shock shock so we've got Sergeant Brick's ability going down. I don't think it's making a single bit of difference, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We have just got absolutely destroyed, guys. This is how to play Boom Beach. This is pro-level strategy right here, guys. Um, absolutely professional. I'm only joking, guys, as you guys know. <laughs> Very sarcastic. Extremely sarcastic. Um, that was an absolute disaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness what a big mistake yeah we're gonna leave the video there <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it I, I know you guys a lot of you guys do love seeing me fail and i don't cut it out it's funny i mean it is quite funny guys <laughs> seeing me fail i mean look at that that was an absolute disaster but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video <laughs> please subscribe for more boom beach videos guys Um, hopefully there's a new update coming around the corner and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.